Hello my lovelies, this is Simsfell and welcome to episode 25 of our daily series Niche Snow Palace with the Snowkiss tribe. We are getting harassed by a rogue, or have been getting harassed by a rogue. A few of our females have made it to keep themselves safe from him, luckily everyone in his vicinity is a male. And also, we managed to establish a snow palace for the first time in the history of the Snowkiss tribe up here. So, where are the two ladies? Okay, so we have... High Prince Davros, who became king on his very last day and is about to promptly die. Um, his newest mate, Consort Blossom, carrying his last child. And then we've got his um, other mates down here who are depth snouted, Consort Moon and Consort Lilac. And also, another thing, we managed to have a bird-beaked child or nicheling born into the tribe for the very first time, Princess Robin. So that was very exciting, we've had a lot of momentous things happen over the past few episodes. And how many days? We've got 20 days left on this island before we must leave. So we've got quite a bit of time left, quite a bit of time um, to get, to do a bunch of things genetic wise and all of those awesome things, but we're actually pretty okay. Now we just have to focus. I mean, the thing with this is you never really win. There's never really an end goal. I mean, I guess it is like that with most niche challenges and playthroughs, but the thing is, with us, the goal was to make a snow palace and then to ensure that we have a king. But the situation is such that Devros becomes king on his last day. And now the crown is passing over, not the crown, but the title of High Prince is passing over to his son. So now his son, Prince Jeden down here, must start over all over again in trying to acquire... I mean, the palace, you could say, has been established, but... I don't know, how does that work guys? I think what we'll do palace wise is that because there's three nests down, once there's three nests down, we actually say that that's the palace, right, on the peak. So what we'll do is whenever we stay on the island, because it is only for 50 days, obviously the title of king does not pass on to the children, it's only it passes on as high prince, and they must earn the title of king by acquiring three mates. But I'm gonna say that, um, once the, a snow palace is set up on an island, not every island, but on an island, then we'll say that Prince Jen, for example, inherits the palace, so he doesn't have to construct it all by himself. But he still has to become king. That way, we don't have to keep recreating the palace over and over again. But then again, like when they leave, when the Snowkiss tribe leaves this island, goes to a new one, it won't have a snow palace. So we'll again have to start from scratch. So. That's kind of cool and kind of interesting. And if you guys start getting bored or whenever you guys start getting bored, do let me know. I've got a bunch of other cool challenges planned, but if you're not feeling the Snowkiss tribe anymore, if you love it, I'll keep playing it because it is a daily series with no end goal in mind. But if you guys, um, especially since now we've reached the goal of the challenge, I feel comfortable at any point if you guys want ending it and starting something new or carrying it on. So let me know what you think. I was really determined to get us through to this point, and since we did in the last episode, I feel a lot more comfortable letting go now. So let me know what you guys think, and uh, we'll go from there. But for this episode, let's get started. Right, so who did I have left? I think uh, only the Snow Cries, and then only Blossom. Right, okay, I see. So let's go down here and get our Snow Cries giving their cools out and ending off the days here at the mountain and this rogue is so irritating go away rogue we have one female we have princess belladonna down here so i think i think herring managed to just save belladonna by crying and calling that rogue to him but she is unfortunately at risk and that rogue could very easily come around this rock and approach her and impregnate her and then we'll have two flippin nichelings who are expecting children that we don't want, so it's stressful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep an eye on him, but I feel as though he's gonna try and do some stuff with Belladonna, and that doesn't make me happy one bit. Oh. Where the heck are you going? Is he making a run for our consorts? Please stay away. Please flip and stay away. Oh my goodness, what is this? What is this? Taro. Taro, <laughs> hello, welcome. I don't think, we don't need any new nichelings right now, but you look very cool, I must say. Very cool. Okay. Snowfire Titan's been doing a pretty cool job. And who said males called females and females call males? Because this is a male right here, guys. Okay, so I think we're done for the day. Let's turn it over and see the last offspring of High Prince Devaros. 
and um, a Blossom's first child. Oh, she's so cute though with those horns. Like I love the pink coat with those creamy horns. Looks so cute. Oh, oh it's another good big child, but it's a it's a male. Oh my goodness, he is so perfect. He's so perfect. Okay, we need to go ahead and give him a good name. Let's see. He's not going to be a prince anymore because his brother's taking on the title. He's going to be a royal, so we actually need to go and change some of the titles that we've got available. But let's have a look at the names list. Huh. So one of the other names that I got um, from the same person who gave me Robin's name is Jay. So this is going to be Royal Jay. Doesn't he look so cute? He looks like a little berry or a milkshake. Like, it reminds me of chocolate and strawberry, man. <laughs> okay, but Royal J is pretty cool. Now we need to go through, find all the princes and princesses and change their names. Okay, let's go. I think some of the princes and princesses have been shoved up here because, or maybe they were shoved down here because there's not enough space. <laughs> okay, so we need to go through Princess Lotus. Oh, hello, Lotus. Royal Lotus, Royal. She, oopsies, okay. She is now joining, pretty much. Royal Star and Bubblegum, and oh my goodness, Bubblegum's like the oldest. Apart from, well, now, you know. Apart from Devoros, Royal Bubblegum is actually the oldest. Huh, okay. Or is she? I don't know, I'm confused. But okay, let's go ahead, Royal Lotus. We've got Royal Noble. Right, royal noble. Imagine someone named like we name a prince royal or princess royal, then it's like royal royal, royal royal, double royal. <laughs> okay, so royal storm, royals. Oh, not royak, royal storm, royal storm, and then I've got royal belladonna. I'm glad the rogue was not going in her direction, and she for now is safe. Um, and then Royal Plum, who is currently pregnant. Royal, whoopsies, Royal Plum. And then we have got, who else? Royal Cane and Royal Robin. Okay, okay. Royal Cane. That was a lot of children he had, I must say. A lot of children. Okay, and then Royal Robin. Right, okay. And we must rename... Prince Jaden to High Prince Jaden. So, High Prince Jaden, and now we're gonna be looking through, guys, just super quick. I'm gonna be going through all the females that we currently have who are not part of the, like, directly part of the royal line from a king or prince, and I will see if we have any mates available for High Prince Jaden before we begin calling. Okay, so he's got A and D. Now, Nightshade? I think Nightshade is the only one we can look at. D and E. D and E and E. Oh, damn it. Okay, well, Nightshade was the only one we could have looked at. She was the only female born that isn't directly related to High Prince, like who isn't an aunt or um, thing. So we've got that, unfortunately. All the others are just males. All the females are from the royal lines or consorts, like ex-consorts. So that sucks. Okay. Well, who is Jaden's mother actually? Jaden, who is your mother? Oh, it's Bella. And Bella died. Okay, so we need to go ahead and the consorts that Devros had, they need to be given. What did I say I was gonna call them? I don't know. They weren't going to be royals. Not ex consorts. Should it just be ex consort? Maybe it should be ex consort. That's just the easiest way to keep track of everyone. Uh, I probably changed it last time and now I forgot again. I'm sorry, guys. Ex consort. They shall be known as the ex consorts. Okay, and then where's the last one? Lilac. Ex consort lilac. Right. Okay, there we go. Well, now we have a mission to get Jaden a flippin' um, mate. So, Jaden actually needs to make his way back up. Go away, Rogue. He needs to make his way up back up here. 
anything I need to put into his genes? I don't think so. I don't think so. But someone who doesn't have AND, who can hopefully be a wonderful mate to High Prince Jed. And he doesn't have too long, so it would be nice for him to get that going. He does have various other brothers, so that's one good thing. If he doesn't have any children at the end, then it's fine because he will have an heir through one of his younger brothers because he's got heaps. But we would definitely prefer it if um, we could go ahead and get him a, a son somehow. So, okay. Jeez, time to get moving, right? Who's bleeding? Oh, she was fighting off with the Barina, wasn't she? Hmm. Well, she was fighting off with a Barina. I'm not gonna let her have... I think she's gonna die without having the child, guys. I know you guys said, uh, like, <laughs> a few of you said I should let her have the child because then we can use it for the berries and stuff or it could be a mate, like a possible mate for, um, High Prince Jenin. But the thing is, Sugar Plum is also expectant. She can probably wait another day before she has her offspring um, because then Royal Plum will probably pass away. And the thing is, um, we are at 25, so I don't want to have any more Manishlings with that. Otherwise, it's just going to get too crazy. We're completely going to let go of the story, which we don't really have much going on right now. But still, I don't feel comfortable with that much Manishlings. It just feels crazy and it feels very impersonal. So I'm not going to let her have her baby. If the number was below 25, I would have. But right now, if someone like if she dies, we have room for one, like one more Manishling to be born into the tribe. And Sugar Plum is carrying the last child between her and Thorn. And she had Nightshade, I think. Yeah, she had Nightshade. And that was the this is that's the only unrelated female we have to the prince. And her and her maid have a chance of producing a daughter with immunity genes that are gonna be compatible with the princes, which is why and she's gonna be healthier than any rogue child that Royal Plum has. Which is why I'm doing saying that's my preference. But okay, let's get some of these lovelies moving about. Let's start off down here. Should we go ahead and see? Okay, the rogue's very attracted to Zukan's tail feathers, but I don't know if he realizes that Zukan's male. Snag that, grab that. Um, look, there's a bunny down there. Let's snag, grab. And I see another bunny down there, but claws jump up here. Oh look, the bunny came out, the bunny came out. Okay, and Belladonna. Belladonna can't really do much. She might start making her way over to that tree so that she can go ahead and help collect some nuts. I feel like whoever goes to that tree is gonna be sacrificed, but to be honest, it's a harsh world, okay? We can't do too much. Right, let's dig up some roots over here. Ah, delightful. Any more roots in the area? Let's see. Well, there's roots on the other side, but she doesn't have enough moves to get there. And I don't want to drown her. So let's just wait up here. There's quite a bit of roots on that side, actually. So we'll just wait there. You, my darling, do you smell here any bunnies? Well, there's bunnies on this side. So let's go there. You can also move towards that bunny. Okay, we've chased most if not all the bunnies in that direction and then let's see belladonna what are you going to do belladonna you i said we were going to take you over to the trees weren't we you mm. we were going to take you over to the trees and some of our other females could probably breed with the other royals to create some possible mates but the thing is we're at our limit oh my gosh what the hell happened That's why he was in the area. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What the heck? He went ahead and got Nightshade pregnant. <sighs> Someone needs to kill this rogue. He's really irritating me, seriously. First, first, and Nightshade's young as well. What the heck? First Plum, then Nightshade. What next? The ex consorts? You little shite. Oh jeez, okay, well. Let's, let's jump over to this side and see what else we can do around here. Oh my goodness, okay. So, Snowcrab Pola needed to make his way over as well. Accompany his little friend over here. 
Females scatter! We've got this dastardly person over here. I'm glad Belladonna got out of the way though. Okay, and then let's see if we can find... He was looking for stuff to dig, wasn't he? Can he collect? No, he can't. Well, he can collect a little bit. Let's jump this way. Yep, we can collect some of that. Looky, looky, there is a bunny. So snag that. Wonderful, delicious. Is there a bunny anywhere else? Oh, who's this? <gasps> is this a female? What's immunity genes? C and, oh damn it, she has the D. Jedin has A and D, so we can't, yeah. Mm, darn it, but she was one of the females we came across not too long ago. Well, there is a bunny here through the bushes, so let's see if we can get that. We're awfully close to a berina. For now, plums, it's being distracted by plum, but who knows how long that will last for. Right, and then... Kane, what can you do? You can collect really well, Kane. So actually, come down this way. You can make your way towards the berry bush, although it is dangerous for you to be down here. And then... Okay, you, my darling, I do realize this is a very uh, difficult position to be in, but you're going to just spend the last day collecting some nuts, helping out the tribe with some food, because food is always important. Even if we're in danger of our lives, food is always, always important. Okay. Ooh, there's a bunny right there? What the heck? Well, let me grab that. Someone else can snag that bunny. Yep, there we go. We've got some lovely ladies with claws. So, into the shrubs, because we might find a bunny. There we go, bunnel, 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 bunnel. Okay, and then, oh, there's a healing plant there, I didn't realize. Healing plant, okay. Let's get Royal Noble to do what he always does, collect some of these flowers. Wonderful, wonderful. Is that it? And then we just have to get the snow cries calling for the day, I think. Yep, it seems about right, that seems about right. Let's start off down here, and I hope this rogue dies soon. When are you gonna die, rogue? He's got- okay, he's gonna die the next day, so that's good. He was an absolute ass. This is the most we've been harassed by a rogue ever, which is saying something. No female? Come on. We've got one, two, three, four, five snow criers. Please, just give me a female somehow. Nope, only males and rogues, no females. Okay, let's try over here with um, Sugar Plum. She's got two days, so we'll send her on the next, the next one. Nope, unfortunately, nothing there. Let's try with Titan. Again, no female, unfortunately. So let's turn the day over and see what else we have. Nobody is on a nest, but we should be having some deaths and then hopefully some room in the tribe, as cruel as that sounds. Okay, we had one nicheling die, and I think we all know who that was. That was unfortunately- oh my goodness, it's coming after Bubblegum. Nope, Bubblegum, scoot! I do not want Bubblegum to be in danger, and neither do I want Cloud to be in danger, so... Was Cloud going to be a snow crier? I don't know. I don't remember. Hmm. I said- I think I said Cloud was gonna take over Belladonna's- not Belladonna, Shreya Plum's position in a bit. Okay, so let's get all of these lovelies to scoot in a little bit. But okay, Jetton finally is going to arrive at his peak. Wonderful. And no, this silly male, go away. Go away, silly male. We don't need you right now. Okay, we don't need you. But um, I'm going to get Sugar Plum to give out two calls. And then she's going to jump into this permanent nest. Wonderful. And she's going to stay there expectant. Now, where is her mate? Right, her mate is down this way. But... He, is he gonna turn into... I think Cloud is gonna turn into an adult soon, so I'll put him here so that he can look after the child because his dad's gonna stay this way and his father is gonna actually help out with... Actually, that's a deadly berry bush, so... We don't want to collect from that, but um, he's gonna start making his way up near his mate so he can spend the last moments... Oh my goodness, did I poison him? I'm so sorry! I did not mean to poison you, my beautiful, beautiful nicheling. Oh my god, Thorn was one of the most awesome nichelings and I poisoned him. Well, I did not mean that. I did not realize that it would happen so. My goodness, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean to poison you! 
<laughs> okay. Well, 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 guys. Um, we've got a lot of niche links. A lot of niche links. So, with that said and done, I'm going to go off and end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in my next episode. Bye-bye.